Hey guys, welcome back to JC Fitness. I'm Jeremiah from Malaysia. Today I'll be showing you guys an easy way to count your daily calories to lose weight or to gain weight, gain muscles. Let's get to it. Alright, when it comes to losing weight or losing fat or gaining weight, you know, gaining muscles, it's very important to know the amount of calories you need. Um, and everyone needs a different amount of calories, you know, because everyone's different. So I'll walk you guys step by step to figure out how many calories you need in a day, you know, to reach your goals, whether it's to gain muscles or to lose weight. And if you're new to calories, please pause this video, check out my basic nutrition video on calories before you come back here so that everything will make more sense. All right, step one is to calculate your BMR. Your BMR is your basal metabolic rate, which is basically the amount of calories you need to, for your body to function properly. You know, your organs, your different system, your respiratory system, breathing, your digestion, your brain, all different systems need certain amount of calories to function properly. So that is your BMR. And to figure out your BMR, you need four things, your age, your gender, your weight, and your height. So I hope you know those four, especially your age and your gender. Um, and I'm going to link, put a link in the description down below of a calculator, a BMR calculator. So you can plug in those information, you know, your information, uh, age, gender, weight and height into that calculator. And it will show you a number, which is your BMR. So I'm going to plug my numbers in as well so that I, uh, you know, you guys can follow me. You know, as a, I'm going to be the example person and you guys can follow and see what I'm doing. All right, pause the video, go to the BMR calculator link that's down in the description below and figure out, plug in your numbers, your, your information and figure out how many BMR you need. You know, for example, I'm a male, if you ever noticed, I'm 25 years old and I'm 85 kg, which is 187 pounds. Um, I'm 181 cm, which is 5 foot 11. And I take that information and put it in the calculator, I get a BMR of 1960, 1960. That's my BMR, yours, yours is gonna be different. So do that, go to the calculator, do that, and we'll move on to step two. All right, step two is to multiply your BMR with your activity level. Your activity level is how active you are, and obviously everyone's gonna be different. Um, there are four different activity levels. The first one is sedentary. So that's a person who does you know, nothing, sit at home all day, watch Netflix, YouTube, and you don't work out at all. If that's you, you're sedentary. Um, the second one is lightly active. So a person who works out maybe one to three times a week. Um, the third one is moderately active. So a person who works out maybe every other day, like three to five times a week. And finally, the, f um, the fourth one is uh, active, which is a person who works out basically every day, you know, six times, seven times a week always doing sports, um, always on the go, very active. So you have to be honest with yourself and know which one you are. Um, so for me, I'm the example person, I'm moderately active. So I work out around four or five times a week, do some sports and stuff. So that's me. So I take my BMR, which is like I said before, 1960, and I times the moderately active number, which is 1.55. So I do that and I'll get um, 3038, you know, which you can round it down or up a little bit, it's, it's no difference. So 3038, I'll round it down to 3000. So 3000 is the amount of calories I need to maintain my weight. So after taking a BMR and multiplying it with your activity level, you get a number. For me, it was 3000. Your number is going to be different, but that's the number you need to maintain your weight. So for me, I need 3000 calories every day, you know, to eat that amount of calories every day to maintain my current weight of 85 kg or 187 pounds. So for you, it's going to be different. Um, now you have that new number. You have you can figure out, you know, how many calories you need to eat to gain weight or to eat to lose weight. So for t let's start with losing weight first. For losing weight, you need to eat in a calorie deficit, so less calories than your body needs. So for me, it's 3,000. I would recommend a calorie deficit of around 300 to 500. So that means if I want to lose weight, I have to eat around 2,500 calories to 2,700 calories every day. And if I do that consistently, I will lose weight. And on the other hand, if I want to gain muscle, bulk up, you know, gain weight, I have to eat in a calorie surplus. So you have to eat more calories than you need. So in my case, my 3000 calories, I have to eat a surplus of, again, I recommend around 300 to 500 surplus. So I have to eat 3,300 calories to 3,500 calories a day to gain weight. So now you know how many calories you need to maintain your weight, 
gain weight or you know gain muscles or to lose weight so it depends on your goals you know what you want to to achieve you can adjust your amount of calories you need to reach those goals and obviously as you gain weight or you lose weight you know over the weeks over the months you you have to you know recalculate it because it's the numbers are going to be different so as you gain weight or lose weight you have to recalculate the amount of calories you need all right the final thing i want to mention is don't over stress over these numbers um, these numbers are just an estimate you know for how many calories you need so you know for example if you're not losing weight and that's your goal you know maybe just cut out a bit of calories put yourself more in a calorie deficit just make adjustments along the way don't over stress and um, a good way is to weigh yourself and check yourself in the mirror you know every now and then so that you can track your progress whether you're gaining weight or losing weight and you just make adjustments to reach your goals all right guys so that's how to count your calories remember counting and tracking your calories is a very simple but effective way for you to reach your goals you know whether you're gain muscle or lose weight so thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new um, share it with your friends and subscribe for future videos i'll see you guys in the next video